Good Saturday morning, everybody. And uh, go ahead and we'll be back in the 119th Psalm today. Psalm 119, we'll be starting in verse 59. And again, uh, just uh, remind you, this whole psalm is uh, about the writer's relationship uh, to the Word of God. How he has... Um, claimed it, how he respects it, how he loves it, uh, how it has directed his, uh, his life. And uh, this section uh, that we uh, just started in, uh, this section, um, he is writing specifically uh, addressing um, a situation many of us find ourselves in that um, when we get uh, to the end of our rope, um, when we feel like nothing else, we have nothing else, nowhere else to turn, uh, we discover that uh, God uh, is all we needed to begin with. And so in verse 59, he makes, uh, I think, an interesting statement and a, uh, and a challenge really uh, for all of us to uh, to model uh, in uh, our own life when he says I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto the testimonies and so uh, as I think about that statement um, there are several things uh, that um, I, I think uh, stand out to me uh, he says, I thought on my ways. And so in other words, um, he says, I, I, I stopped and I thought about uh, what I was doing. I thought about where I was. Uh, I thought about where I wanted to be. Uh, I thought about how I got here. Uh, all, all those things. He says, I thought on my ways. And to me, as I, and I, you know, uh, I hate to put words in the author's mouth, but uh, again, that is kind of uh, my assignment here. When I again, when I think about that, when I thought on my ways, it, it includes again all of those things: how I got here, where I'm going, uh, where do I want to go, where does God want me to go? Uh, and so he just thought about uh, his uh, his life, uh, everything. He he uh, contemplated he uh, on uh, on those things, and that's a uh, a good thing. Uh, for all of us uh, to do, um, I just uh, again recommend a, uh, a book to you. It's called uh, Life Unique, and you spell it Y O U N I Q U E, written by Will Mancini. And uh, not only the book, but there's a, a process that you can uh, be involved with it as well that uh, he calls life management. Um, and really what it forces you to do is to sit down um, and over a period of time uh, think about those things. Think about your ways, uh, where you are, how God has made you, how uh, God has gifted you, and uh, all those things. And, and, and think about uh, those things. And I, I believe that's uh, something that all of us need to learn, that we need to um, and then the other thing about uh, that process is the way it's designed is then every 90 days uh, you kind of go back and reset and then uh, every year and then every three years you go through a major uh, reevaluation. Uh, but you don't have a process like that. Just uh, occasionally to stop and think about where you are, where God's brought you from, uh, where God uh, is taking you uh, and where he wants you to be. Um, you know, just to really think about uh, our, uh, our life. Uh, but not as you think about that, uh, and, and I mentioned it as part of uh, my ways, but then uh, he also, part of that is thinking, okay, now, so where am I going? Um, and uh, he says, you know, where, um, you know, where, where am I going? I, there's a statement uh, and I may not get this right, says, well, you know, says, well, the road you're on gets you to God's house. Uh, is the road you're on getting you closer to God or further from God? 
Uh, and so that's why, again, I think it's important for us to occasionally uh, to consider uh, our ways, to think about uh, where we're going. And when he did that, uh, notice what he says here. He says, I turned my feet. Uh, when he did that, evidently, something in his contemplations uh, made him decide uh, that he was not going in the right direction. And so he turned his feet. He, he went in a, uh, he, he was at a point in his life where he uh, made a change. Uh, and he tells us what that change was. He turned his feet, uh, he turned his way toward the testimonies uh, of God, towards the word uh, of, of God, towards the way God wanted him uh, to live his life. And uh, that verse presents a, a real challenge for us, I think. Um, you know, here especially, here we are uh, at the first of the year, uh, just, um, again, I, I don't know, some people make resolutions, that kind of thing, but uh, to stop and think about uh, where are you, um, you know, wh wh where are you, what are you doing with the talents and the gifts that God has given you, uh, where uh, are you headed, uh, if you, you know, if you keep doing what you're doing, where will you be, uh, where will you end up? Uh, one of the questions uh, that uh, put before a lot of church leaders many times is if your church keeps doing what it's doing and nothing changes, where will you be in five years? And that's a good question for uh, each person to ask themselves. And if necessary, if God reveals that to you, then you turn your feet, you change your ways, and you do uh, your life, you live your life according to, uh, to the testimonies, the, the word uh, of God. And uh, this is a great time of year to be doing that. Again, first of the year when, uh, again, a lot of people kind of examine life anyway and think it through. Uh, I want to challenge you this morning to, uh, to maybe schedule some time in the next few days. Maybe you need to uh, take an afternoon off or something, go somewhere, go sit in a park or uh, might not be the best time of year to sit in the park, but uh, just go somewhere alone and think about life. Think about where you're going. Uh, again, how you're being used of God, how God wants to use you, uh, and determine, uh, do I need to turn my feet? Do I need to go in a different direction? Do I need to be more obedient uh, to the Word of God? I think if we did that ever so often, uh, that we would stop and uh, do just uh, the words of the psalmist. Think on our ways. Uh, and if necessary, may not may not be necessary, but when we think on those ways, uh, if necessary, uh, that we turn our feet uh, towards the principles, the word of God for our life. All right, think on those things and uh, see if it's uh, something maybe God speaks to your heart about. Have a great day. We will see you back here the first of the week.